I've been a commercial fisherman my whole life since I graduated high school here in Gloucester. Jump on, the, on my dad's boat and I've been fishing ever since. There was a lot of opportunity for a young man. The money was good, uh, the camaraderie was great, the work was hard. I fell in love with it. It is a family business in the true sense of the word. We've educated our child, we've, we've paid for our house, uh, and now we've had to remortgage the house to buy the boat out. Your first boat would pay for your first house. So now when you see a fisherman who's struggling, you see a family that's losing their house. You see a family that's losing their pride. You see a family that's losing everything, and that's the heartbreak. You know, I had to sell my boat five months ago. I had to lay my son off after 20 years, and, uh, um, and right now we're just in limbo. But the person who has really gotten some results for us and has really gone to bat for us that I can see is Miss Coakley. Martha was wonderful. I can remember one fisherman uh, telling her things were so bad that he had to tell his daughter that she couldn't go back to college. And there was such a heartbreak on his face. Martha got up immediately afterward and talked about uh, what a disgrace that was, that he was put in that position unnecessarily by the government, and that she was going to, uh, again, come forward on his behalf and be his voice. Martha brings, uh, not promises, but brings hope and understands what fishermen are going through here in our community and in other coastal communities. I've never seen anything like it from a statewide office holder that is really there with empathy, uh, with plans uh, that uh, she hopes to take to ensure the longevity of our fleet and also the uh, sustainability of the fishery. Every time we've had a problem, nobody stepped up to the plate like, like Martha Coakley has. Every time we go to her, she's right up front and she supported us in every way possible. Somebody who looks at a group of people who are hard workers who will tell you flat out what I want is an opportunity to work and to say to them, we're going to roll up our sleeves. I am going to find an opportunity for you to partake in our state's economy. That's leadership and that's Martha Coakley.